Well, this right here is the antenna tower that gives us internet. T walls and uh, bomb shelters included. So classic little thing, what is that? I don't even know what type of car that is, but it was pretty good rain to last night. First one that I've seen in Iraq for the past, I don't know, maybe four months, five months. Just give you a little bit of taste of the lovely surroundings that are near our living areas. So where all the well, black water, not the security company obviously, but where all the wastewater goes. Not really sure what that building off in the distance does over there. I know that the Air Force occupies it, but that's about it. Another fallout, not necessarily fallout, but bomb shelter, mortars. Get those every now and again. This is my walk to work. I do this twice a day, but once every 15 hours. 15 hour shifts, seven days a week. Haven't had a proper day off and well, aside from my midterm leave, that's about it for my entire tour. I'm going to go on a little adventure. You know, it's surprising to see more, this is more Mercury Mountaineers and Up Armored Suburbans than I have, than I have Humvee as my entire tour. I guess one of the perks. like for me every day five mile an hour miss but five, yeah. five mile an hour speed limit for us it's a lovely little little truck you won't ever see in the states they're all over here in Iraq a lot of the contracting companies have them in this mud and let me tell you the rainy season hasn't really started yet, but when it does, it turns everything you walk and makes your boots look like platform boots. A little bridge across, a little canal, like I said. Not necessarily a clean place. This little bush over here has been kind of interesting for me. These are the only flowers I've ever seen standing in Iraq by themselves. Kind of awkward, just a little bit of beauty in the middle of a war zone. This right here is the canal. It runs parallel against uh, Camp Victory here. Over to your right. It's a former Iraqi army compound. When we first got here, that entire area was uh, filled with tents and little buildings and probably say maybe six months ago they just vacated it all in a matter of about a week see and look at all that mud speaking of which that pipe that pocket right there is where I keep my pipe usually originally those pockets were designed to put an extra packet an extra clip of munition but I used to keep my pipe. Fortunately, I don't have to see combat all the time or hardly at all. Hell, I've only seen IDF a few times here. IDF's indirect fire for anybody who's not too up to speed on military terms, which I don't blame you. I wouldn't have I don't want wouldn't want people to have to be up to date with that. Well lovely, what's that? It's a Pugo. Yeah, that's the name of the brand. But there's an Iraqi chow hall. You know, there's a bunch of fish in here usually, mainly carp. None out and about right now. But it's kind of nice. You have, we have a bunch of geese that hang out here. I refer to like one of the inside jokes among us is we refer to them as Legion. You know the demon from the from the Bible. So you don't ever see him traveling alone. It kind of remind me of like you know the kids that were around in 
in the movie Hostel. You could give them a piece of candy and they, you know they'll do whatever, but if you ignore them, they'll beat the crap out of you to kill you. You bring them a pack of, you bring them one of those little individual packs of cereal from the dining facility. They'll love you forever, but it's pretty much your safe passage. I'm pretty sure they know what human flesh tastes like. This right here is the Iraqi officer building. Barbed wire with nice little I don't know, socks. Whatever. It's a really cool day today. It's hardly 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's the here's a guard tower. It's a bridge. Iraqi officer over there. How you doing, sir? Oh, the Iraqi officers are really friendly around here. A little decor, nice concertina wire. Nothing has a little bit of class like concertina wire does, courtesy of the U.S. Army. Sorry if the camera's a little bit jostly or low quality. This is just a recording off of my digital camera. Plus what I have in the meanwhile, so. More concertina wire among a small field of palm trees, small grove or whatever. You know, I'm really kicking myself. I'm here at the end of my tour almost, here in Iraq. And I took a few pictures at the beginning of the tour, but never taken any video, never really recorded as much. And considering on like how, how much pictures I saw of my grandfather when he was in Germany, I'm really kicking myself right now for not documenting what, I, what I've done and where I've gone as well as I should have. So, so I'm trying to start picking it up right now, maybe show a little bit of YouTube and maybe my family, things I've gone through, places I've gone. Place ahead right there, that's Alpha Palace, place where I mentioned I'll be taking the main vid, but figured it might be nice to show you guys how I get from my home and to work every day. Probably around a little under a mile. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of just suburbans and light SUVs and whatnot. Over there is another, another place just in case some bombs come in. Right there is a genuine Iraqi stop sign. Lots of those around here. And once I go before I go through security, I'll probably shut this off just so I can get through the gates. So I'll start again here in a second.